I'm in favour of a graduate tax. Why is that? Well, because I think we need to get our priorities straight. We say that education is a right. What's a right for? Oh, well, I think it's a right for primary and secondary education in this country. We need to get people up to a level of literacy and numeracy so that they can have the opportunity to go and do whatever they want. At the moment, uh, and, and looking down the line, we simply don't have the resources to provide for every child in this country. And I think that it's time that we start looking at primary and secondary education as the fundamental rights of education that we provide, and, se uh, and, and third level education uh, as something that is more of a free problem. The government has no money. How do we deal with that problem? We make sure that the student contribution continues so that we don't have a massive drop off in, the, in funding for third level education, but that later on, when people are graduated and in employment and earning the higher salaries that their university education has enabled them to earn, that they pay back a certain amount of money that is relevant to the cost of their education. For example, it costs way more to educate a medical student than an art student. It's not fair that both of these students pay the same contribution uh, into our state. So I think that because we need to make sure that we secure basic education in this country and because education at third level bestows the privilege of much higher salaries, people who receive that education should be urged to contribute to it. Firstly, an increase in the accessibility of education because any student can apply for these loans, any student can get a degree and any student can get a job after it. And what happens is once your income goes over a certain threshold, you have to pay back these loans depending on your rate of income. Secondly, it'll increase the responsibility of students themselves because the student, the loans themselves are based on the graduate's income, not the graduate's family. So it'll increase the idea that students themselves have to pay back these loans and that the students themselves are autonomous from their parents or their fathers. And finally, it increases the government's checks and balances on students because if they want to see a return on their investment, they have to make sure that we get a job. If we don't, we're going to see a failure in this program. So they'll have to facilitate anything that gets students jobs, and that'll increase the possibility of the other two uh, working. I think we need to continue our current policy for fully exchequer funded education. I th I, and that is because I believe education is a right and not a privilege. Education is something that is proven to be a public good, to have more educated citizens in the state, and to have an educated workforce for our economy. In other countries it has shown that it has worked. In Sweden, in Norway, in Denmark and plenty of other countries in the world they have had equal access to education for uh, first, second, third and even fourth level education. Um, it is something that has shown that more, be, that, that more people have come into the education framework uh, because of this and they have a higher, a more educated workforce. The, the current policy of the Union of Students in Ireland is that we need a progressive taxation system to fund our free education system. This is something that is often let out, left, left out in the rhetoric of, the, of our student representatives. It needs to be put back in. We need to clearly say that the wealthy in the state need to be paying more money to fund our services, in particular in such a, a time of inequality and a time of austerity. Other systems have shown that they do not work. In the United States of America and the United Kingdom, they've shown that the loan scheme does not work. Uh, thousands of students indebted to large numbers, paying off the debt, uh, almost like a mortgage, sometimes even before in, in, in employment. This has shown that it's just increased the gap between rich and poor and less people are in education. Graduate tax system they've had in Australia and New Zealand has shown that less, much less people are in education um, and sometimes people are, um, you're being taxed on the basis of that you just have a, you have a degree and therefore you must pay extra taxation, sometimes even regardless of what kind of employment you're in. This is the position of the National Union of Students in, in the UK uh, and however the government in the United Kingdom took this as a as a, as a sign of the student movement rolling over and just use it as an, exa an example as an, as a, and just use it to increase the registration fee rather than putting in place a graduate tax system. They've been regretting that stance ever since. It's time that we actually pushed ahead with, with our current policy and actually we got serious with our current policy rather than copying out. What we need is we need the Minister for Education and the government to actually listen to us like the way they listen to other uh, major lobby groups in the state um, and that's why I encourage everyone to vote for fully exchequer funded education. The system of student contributions through registration fees is a fair system and it's one that's served us well so far. There are three main reasons why we should continue on with it. First of all, it spreads the cost of education equally between the exchequer and the student. This means that the university can now fund um, non-academic activities such as students' activities and health and support services. The university would have to look uh, for other ways to fund these services if it weren't for student contributions or they would cut them entirely. Secondly, it allows students of a lower socioeconomic background to attend college by giving them the option of a grant, by allowing them not to pay this, this, this contribution fee. 
This allows people to under, uh, this gives people the opportunity to, to, to attend university who otherwise might never get it. And it's a far better way of doing so than with loans, because being in debt will still be an economic drain to your, uh, to your prospects in the future. Thirdly, it, it, it ensures a system that all students pay a set equal amount for every course. This means that you don't suffer by having to pay more if the course you choose happens to be more expensive to educate you. This means that prospective students won't be deterred from choosing more expensive courses. And this is why we should continue on with, with the current system. Uh, I'm here today to strongly put forward the idea that we should reintroduce full fees within college. I believe this for several reasons. First of all, I don't believe that free fees have actually made education any better. I, I, I fall back on my figures in relation to the 1997 uh, introduction of free fees and the fact that no low-income families, the, the, their level of participation within our society has not actually increased by any substantial, substantial measure so as to justify such a policy which, you know, directly favours people that don't have money. I disagree with this for several reasons. First, I believe that education is a privilege and not a right. Education is taken for granted by so many people, and you know it is just it is a matter of fact that people come here just because they can, not because they want to. And we feel that this takes away from the actual, you know, you, you see it every day in like lecture halls, people at the back on their laptops that are actually doing meaningful work. And we feel this takes away, you know, from those people who actually want to do education in the first place. And this leads them to save taxpayers millions because if we're paying our fees. That takes away this whole idea of like paying 918 million euro a year to subsist them in the first place. So that's money that we can put into, you know, things that can make other people's lives better, which you know, which we think benefits society as a whole. We also have this idea that no education will be affected as it stands because if anything we're improving the system. We believe that this cash incentive will actually make the system more efficient. That will actually give us a real voice rather than saying, oh, you're just a bunch of people who are subsisting. Because then we owe the government. We don't actually have a real, real say in our measures. Whereas if we actually pay our own fees, we become a much stronger lobby group. Because we can yeah. demand a better quality from our society. We also have this idea that like, it's very hard to justify not, like, not implementing this because we, we, we can instantly see the benefits in like, America and Britain where you know, education is superior to ours based on the fact that Universities get much higher funding from their, you know, from their alumni, and we see this as you know, something beneficial to society, and will make education better as a whole. Again, I just need to realize this idea that education should be a privilege; it should be something that you want to go after rather than something that you're just entitled to on birth. So, based on these points, I strongly, I believe that we should actually put in.